Hello, welcome back to Decato Mods. My name is Travis and today I'm just going to go for a complete beginner's guide on how I pimped up my trailer. It went from this to this. So guys, how do we get to this? Let's show you how on Decato Mods. In this video today, we're just gonna go through the, the complete basics, step by step of what materials are used, how I used them, and just to show you the end result, just to give you your own inspiration and ideas, and I'd love to see some photos of people pimping up their trailers. This was the trailer in its original condition. I purchased it for 350 pounds off eBay. It looks sad, it looks sorry for itself, but most of all, it's bog standard and boring, and we don't do that to Kato Mods. We like to be different, we like to be individual, and we're gonna take you through the first step. So let's start with the actual surface. So it was galvanized steel. Now you have to use special primer before you actually start painting or spraying because of the galvanized surface, it will fail for a matter of months or years and you'll have to do it all again and it's very laborious. So what we did was we sanded down the whole area with P800. That took about two hours, every bit of surface. And then we put this on. We put on a special metal primer and you can see it is for galvanized and non-ferrous metal. I put on two coats of this and let it dry for about three hours. And once see the galvanized primer has been uh, fully cured, uh, I went to my local body shop and I just got some spray paint, which can be used on top of the, the galvanized uh, primer. And uh, one of these cost me about 15 pounds and I needed two of them for the sides and it took 24 hours to set. Okay, so the roof is made of ABS. So it was sanded down with P800 all over. Again, every nook and cranny that took about two hours. But once it's cleaned down with a bit of window cleaner and alcohol wipes, it was sprayed with three layers of this Ultra Grip Pro. This is specifically for ABS plastic. It gives you really good grip, ready for the actual um, spray that you put on afterwards. Now for the ABS roof, I wanted it white and matching. So again, my local body shop, just give me some high gloss uh, auto paint, which can go on top of uh, primed ABS. Uh, I actually used four of these at 15 pound each, and I did about eight layers. Okay, so once I had the eight layers of the, um, the white body spray, auto body spray on, and it was dry and cured for 24 hours, I then put on four layers of clear high gloss lacquer just to keep it tough and to make sure that the, the paint didn't flake at all in the future. And it's um, three months old now. It's holding out really well and uh, happy with the results. Now just around the, the perimeter, you can see I've done a nice black outline just to go with the black and white theme of the of the motorhome now obviously it's uh it's quite tricky to to spray that a lot of tape involved so i literally got some gloss metal paint no primer needed and uh, i just put on one layer of that it's really thick really good quality and uh, it's holding up amazingly as you can see so i've got a black and white stripe theme going on with the motorhome and black and white theme with the trailer now this was really easy. I just had some leftover um, vinyl graphics from, from the wrap. Um, this cost 50 pounds off eBay for this wrap. And I literally just cut it to size and just uh, squeegeed it on. And of course we wanted to color match the wheels to the, the black alloys over there. And again, just use some sandpaper, P600. And once it was cleaned off with window cleaner and alcohol wipes, we simply just used the same body shop spray, the black spray, uh, which gives it a really good high gloss effect and there is no need for clear lacquer as well. Okay, here's a challenge for you. Can you spot what is wrong with my Roaming Sloth logo? There's that one. There's this one. Okay, yeah, I accidentally put it the wrong way. It's upside down. Sloths don't stand up, they hang up. Uh, that was created at my local local print works and for all of the logos including on my van uh, that was 80 pounds just to give it more of the contrast as well the actual the roof rails 
They were galvanized steel as well. So once again, they were sanded down. Just to simplify things and to not have to go back over the video again and again, here's a handy little list of all the products and the items that were used in modifying and pimping up this beautiful trailer. And how much did it all cost? Hardly anything at all. The total cost was 125 UK pounds and the total hours work was 10. But I'm sure you'll agree it is completely worth the time, the effort and the money to completely individualize your pimped up trailer. Okay, that uh, is the end of the episode to Cato Mods. Really hope you enjoyed the, uh, the trailer pimping up. Don't forget loads more cool mods on the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name's been Travis, see you later.